Hello everyone. Today we are talking about leverage and how to use it in trading. Leverage is the use of borrowed funds to increase one's trading position beyond what would be available from their cash balance alone. High leverage not only increases your potential profit but the risks as well. So be careful while using leverage in trading and follow your risk management. There is no leverage available for spot trading. However, you can use it in futures trading. Let's see how to set up the leverage on the example of Binance futures. Here in this section derivatives on uh, the main menu, we choose USDM futures. We will be redirected to the trading page where Bitcoin USDT is selected by default. Let's choose XRP USDT and set up a leverage for this pair. Here we see the menu with regulated parameters for setting up orders. In the upper side of the panel you can find the button for changing the leverage. On Binance the function of changing leverage is available after 60 days from your registration. There is 20x leverage set up by default in all instruments and you can change it. Let's change the leverage from 20x to 1 and figure out how it works in Syscat trading platform. I left $10 on my deposit to show you the principle of leverage in a very simple way. I choose the working volumes for $6. That will be 7.8 lots correspondingly for this instrument and place the buy limit order at any price. The order is placed and displayed here as far as we have enough funds for such an operation. Now let's try to place another one limit order for the same amount. Obviously the system rejects our attempt indicating that we have insufficient balance. Indeed, to place another one limit order for the same amount, we must have $15 deposit. In order to place the limit order of high volume, we increase our leverage. If we set up 10x leverage, it means that actually our deposit remains the same, but we are given credited funds from Binance Exchange and available funds are multiplied by 10. Let's change it in the same way and choose 30x leverage. Let's try again to place one more limit order of 7.8 lots. Great, we did it, as far as we were credited by Binance. Moreover, even if we place the limit order for $200, It will be placed and then executed, as we can operate with the limit orders of the maximum volume of 10 multiplied by 30, $300. We just have applied the 30x leverage without any long procedures in Syscalp. Just one click in Binance to change it. The most important conclusion is that you don't need to adjust your margin for your standard working volume. Instead, you may set up maximum leverage for each instrument, then while trading you can use your leverage partially, regulating trading volume in Syscalp from minimum leverage to maximum. Having set 100x leverage in Binance settings, you are still able to apply 2x leverage, having only $10 deposit, just through changing the volume through Syscalp. Let's try to do that. Here in Binance we choose maximum leverage, 75. Then in Syscalp we set up different volumes. The orders for $750 are available for us, taking into account the 75x margin. Let's set up four working volumes here, $6. It means that we use our own funds, there is no leverage used. $100, 10 multiplied by 10, it means that using such a volume we apply 
10x leverage, $450, 45x leverage correspondingly is used. And finally, $750 will stand for maximum leverage. You should always remember that the more leverage you use, the more risk you take. Applying the maximum leverage, you can earn extra profit. However, you almost have no room for loss. Little movement of price against your position will liquidate your position totally and you will get margin call. Let's see how the profit and loss are displayed here when I apply no leverage at all. And high leverage. The more your leverage is, the more you lose or earn per price movement. Be careful and follow your risk management. You can download the Syscard trading platform for free through the link under this video. The video was prepared for the Syscard trading platform team. Thank you.